Alright, so the first thing you want to do is, of course, switch on your computer. Alright, now that your computer is on, you want to go over to iTunes and open that up. Now, you can see I have the latest version of iTunes, which looks a little bit like iOS 7. And if we move across this little dashboard, you can see movies. I'm going to press on that, and here you can see all your movies are lined up. But, when you import a movie into iTunes, let's say it's an MP4 and you bring it, you drag it into iTunes, it doesn't really look like the ones on the top. It tends to look like the videos at the bottom. And you can see that this isn't the most attractive sort of thumbnail that you want for your movie. So you can see I have This Is It by um, Michael Jackson, 2009. and um, you can see it doesn't look very attractive. I mean, compared to all these other movies, these look very professional. And then you get to the bottom and you see, this doesn't look that great. So I'm going to teach you how to add a movie poster to your iTunes movie so that you can make it look more attractive. So you want to go to the internet using your web browser of choice. As you can see, I'm using Google Chrome. And you want to look for whatever movie you're looking for, the movie poster. So I'm going to type in, this is it movie poster. If we go across to images, you can see a whole line of images. Now I'm going to choose, you can choose just about anything, but um, always try to choose the biggest, uh, the biggest sort of resolution, the best resolution. So you can see we have 1000 by 1426. That's perfect. Uh, let's see if I can get one with some writing in it. This one's got writing. Alright, so this one looks perfect. It's 580 by 862. Let's see if we can get anything with the bigger numbers. Remember, the bigger the numbers, the better the picture will look. Here you can see it's 2019 by 3000. That should be really nice and clear. So I'm going to wait for that to load. Alright, now that it's loaded, I'm going to right click, save image as, and let's go here to the desktop and save it. Alright. So now we have the image saved. You want to open up iTunes again. Right click on the movie that you want to edit. Go up to get info. Then go across to artwork. Alright. And then add artwork. Now you just want to find that image that you saved earlier on. So go to desktop. And I'm going to scroll down until I see that picture that I saved. There's it over there. It's saved under movie poster. I'm going to press open. And there it is. Now if you press OK, boom, look at that. That looks perfect. It looks like you bought the movie of iTunes. It looks extremely professional. Trust me, you love this, okay? It just makes everything look so more classy and clean and neat and just professional. Now, you can see my iTunes library looks very professional. So, I don't know how many times I said professional, but it definitely does look professional. Alright guys, I hope this helped you. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And a new video comes out next week Friday. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.